Hey everyone, Steve Harrington here. Yeah, that's right, your favorite babysitter from Hawkins. I'm here today to talk about my special buddy, Dustin. Man, where do I even start with that kid? We go way back. I still remember the first time we met at the arcade. This little pipsqueak comes rolling up, eyeing me and my hair. Next thing you know, he's challenging me to play Dragon's Lair. I gotta admit, I dug his swagger. So I let him join me, and the rest is history. Dustin's like the little brother I never had. That curly mop, the goofy grin. He's impossible not to love. And super smart, too. He's always schooling me on stuff like dinosaurs and electronics. Kid knows everything, I swear. We just click, you know? When I'm hanging with Dustin, all my high school drama disappears. I can just be myself, swap stories, share advice, and nerd out over movies and comics. It's nice to have a friend who looks up to me but isn't afraid to bust my chops either. Gotta appreciate the honesty. Of course, I gotta look out for him too. Like any big brother, I gotta make sure he stays out of trouble. And with his knack for curiosity, that's a full-time job. I'll never forget when he found that slimy little lizard and tried to keep it. Oh, uh, no way, dude. That thing is bad news, I said. But trying to stop Dustin from adopting a weird pet is like trying to stop the tide. Or how about that time he tried to sneak into an R-rated movie? The kid's got no fear, but that's where big bro Steve comes in. I got his back. We found a way to compromise on a cooler movie we'd both like, and maybe some ice cream after. Hey, you gotta reward good behavior too, right? Really though, as much as I try to look out for him, Dustin's taught me so much too. Like I was saying, Dustin and I just clicked from the moment we met at the arcade. The little guy saw me playing Dragon's Lair and I could tell he was impressed by my skills. After I let him jump in to play a few rounds, he was hooked. We've been tight ever since. Now Dustin, he's one of those kids who's just innately cool, you know. He's got his own vibe, the curly hair, the humor, the confidence. Kid doesn't care what anyone thinks. Whereas me, I spent most of high school trying to fit in and be the popular guy. So hanging out with someone like Dustin, who's so sure of himself, I learned to relax and just be me. And get this, I swear Dustin has encyclopedic knowledge about everything from quantum physics to Dungeons and Dragons lore. The amount of random facts he's got stored in that brain of his blows my mind on the daily. One time we debated for like an hour about which dinosaur would win in a fight, T-Rex or Triceratops. I don't think we ever settled that one actually. Of course, Dustin will come to me for advice too, especially about girls. Ah yes, young Padawan, wise Steve shall impart his secrets. I tell him, be confident but not arrogant, ask good questions and really listen to her answers. Treat a girl with respect, he's a quick learner that one, though I do have to remind him to ease up on the hairspray now and then. As rad as Dustin is, the kid tends to get in over his head sometimes like his reputation for taking in stray creatures. First it was that cat he found in the rain, then there was the polywog incident. So I've turned into kind of his animal patrol. No wild pets, Dustin. We've been over this. I have to lay down the law. He means well, though, so we usually find a way to compromise. Or the time Dustin got these walkie-talkies and wouldn't stop trying to prank call Lucas and Mike. Don't get me wrong, it was hilarious at first, but I knew it would blow up. So I convinced him to dial back the shenanigans before it went too far. He accepted my wisdom reluctantly on that one. Of course, as the big bro, it's my duty to make sure he has fun too. Last week I snagged us front row tickets to a local battle of the bands. Dustin likes harder rock than me, but he generously allowed for some new wave songs too. We raged all night and left with our ears ringing. An epic evening for sure. He reminds me to be curious, stay humble, and that you're never too old for fun. I mean, just last week we blew off some steam racing go-karts at the fair. I'll admit he whipped my butt. Kid's a speed demon. So in case you can't tell, I just love chilling with my buddy Dustin. We're brothers for life, and I can't wait to see where our next adventure takes us.